hey everyone welcome back on the channel good morning and uh, as many of you know i don't uh, make videos uh, in the morning but fsr 3.1 just released and uh, yeah i got the news after waking up so i could not resist myself and i thought i'll make a video about it so fsr 3.1 the change logs are on your screen right now as you can see it now have improved temporal stability i mean the ghosting issues enhanced ghosting reduction flickering reduction uh, the frame generation has also been implemented like inbuilt and it has also been uh, decoupled like you can use any kind of upscaler with it uh, xcss fsr dlss whichever your card supports you can use that upscaler along with the frame generation so yeah that's a good thing which we have been doing in rtx card uh, from like uh, past two or three months or so also they have added the vulcan support for the xbox development kit so <clears throat> today we are going to test it on uh, horizon forbidden west which have been long due uh, this game does uh, deserves uh, update so yeah uh, right now the fsr3 mod is supported on uh, this six games as of now but uh, still uh, they have uh, told that uh, this games will support on uh, these fsr3 supported games like you can see the list here uh, avatar uh, if racing god of war ragnarok and etc you can see some games have already been updated to 3.1 and some are still on fsr3 i'll put this link in the description if you want to check it out yourself uh, so yeah these games will soon be updated which you can see is fsr3 will soon be updated to fsr 3.1 also so yeah let's begin this uh, modding video without any delay game rental slash offline activation service basically any game you can imagine uh, i have that like call of duty modern warfare 1 2 3 star wars jedi survivor avatar hunters of pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group so first of all you will be needing this zip for uh, forbidden west fsr 3.1 update 1.5.80 we're going to extract it to the desktop now we're going to run this update click on ok click on next now we need the installation directory of forbidden west for me which is here uh, in where the forbidden west.ex is located we're going to go to the address bar of it we're gonna right click copy then we're going to select the path delete it then right click paste click on next it will tell you to overwrite uh, so click on yes type your username whichever you want i'm gonna type mine then if we click on next and click on install the game the update will get installed but i won't be doing it because i have already done it so yeah now let's jump back into the game and i will show you uh, some settings and i've got some things to talk about all right uh, we are back in the game i don't even know what settings i'm currently using but yeah it does feel smooth i think fsr 3 is on already let's dive into the settings and yeah fsr 3 is on and i am using the xcss ultra quality plus let's just switch to dlss for once because i have rtx and dlss was already bugging on the uh, last update so yeah yeah it's very smooth i don't know if you guys can feel it in the video or not but it's definitely smooth uh, like uh, it's used to be in the uh, without frame gen like the frame gen is now uh, working as of the frame gen is off and the game is running at native but the frame rate is higher now so yeah uh, you can use any of these settings you want a dlss xcss fsr3 so as you can see fsr2 has been updated to fsr3 now so it has now wait a second i will show you it has now better temporal stability like uh, you can barely notice any difference between uh, fsr3 and uh, dlss3 i'll soon upload another video comparing uh, dlss3 uh, versus fsr3 along with frame generation on channel soon and also expect some more videos like uh, all those games that have been updated to fsr3.1 like spider-man miles morales spider-man demastered uh, ratchet and clack and yeah i'll be testing those and posting the videos and reviews soon on the channel and if we can manage something more uh, better uh, i will also be posting that too along with that video 
so yeah this is fully stable uh, one more thing uh, you can do is turn off the motion blur in the graphic setting to get the best out of it like if i turn on the motion blur uh, uh, you can feel it little bit dizzy like uh, ghosting a little bit and you can still notice in the trees there uh, there if i move it slowly you can notice in the trees there so yeah do disable the motion blur uh, in game setting and rest of everything is fine like i'm using the medium preset right now and everything is fine right now and uh, wait yeah the nvidia reflex low latency this is also working fine like i am on on plus boost right now uh, that is also working fine on is also working fine uh, so yeah they have managed to fix it pretty well but there is still one to two issue i will show you it mm. so you notice this horse icon right there this horse icon and that mission icon right there so if i move it very slowly like the camera if i pan it very slowly you can see it like uh, it's moving it 30 fps or something uh, if i set a custom marker somewhere wait there where is the custom okay there is the custom marker like this area is the custom marker so if i move the camera very slowly you guys can feel the marker is lagging a little bit like the marker is running at 30 fps but the game is running at uh, 90 fps so yeah it's not anything major but uh, developers have still a little way to go but yeah now it's totally playable with any kind of upscaler and everything so yeah do update and enjoy this game if you have not completed it already i was waiting for this update so now i'm gonna play it so yeah thank you for watching this video now i'm gonna just uh, play around the game and switch the upscaler in between there will be tons time stamps in the description below so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy this video
ways with this machine for now. your arm to protect and my wares are here for your police Hey, someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. 